So currently in Call of Duty, there are hundreds of rewards that you can unlock. And with the Season 1 Reloaded update coming in in just around a week and a half, there's going to be even more rewards that will be available with this update. And that could be a little bit overwhelming. You may miss out on free rewards just because you didn't know about them or you didn't have time to grind them out. So right now, I'm going to go over all the rewards that you can unlock in the Season 1 update at the moment because some of them are limited time and will be going away for Reloaded. And then we'll have an updated version to talk about the Reloaded rewards. But if you do find the video helpful or informative at any point, Point, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button a couple announcements one i am doing a giveaway over on my discord channel you simply just need to join the discord react to the giveaway and you are entered so it's that simple if you guys want to enter for that i'll have it linked below and then also i did post a video going over the entire season one reloaded roadmap so if you're interested in knowing what this update is bringing in i'll have that link down in the description but let's go ahead and jump into it so the very first set of rewards that we have these are the obvious ones but there's a lot of them and these are the ranked play rewards rewards so there are well over 50 different rewards that you can get completely from rank play alone the rewards are actually split into three different categories the very first one is going to be the win challenges the good news is this will be available throughout the entire life cycle of black ops 6 so you can do this in season 3 season 4 take your time with it you can complete it which is why i'm mentioning it first it's not like the biggest priority that you have to do but the rewards consist of things like a frag grenade blueprint a brand new camo calling cards stickers and much more rewards these are just what they look like here and then there's the second set of rewards these are the ranked skin rewards so depending on the rank that you place this will be the reward that you get and the good news here with black ops 6 you actually get the rewards as soon as you unlock the rank so i hit gold rank unlocked the skin literally asap and they gave it to me right away so you don't have to wait until the next season to get the previous season's rewards it's automatically instant the only thing that isn't given instantaneously are the top 250 rewards because i have to see your placements and all that but those are the rank skins then the last Last set of rewards are the seasonal rewards. These are the ones that are exclusive to season one. So you get 10 wins, you get a new weapon blueprint for the melee knife, 100 wins, and then the rank that you place, you get things like a new calling card as well as a decal, and they will get updated because it literally says season one on them. They're gonna update it to season two and change up the way that they look. So these are the first set of rewards that we have. Before we get into it, a quick word from our sponsor, Mitch Cactus. It's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators, help you unlock the Black Ops 6 mastery camos such as Dark Matter, Abyss, and Nebula. Right now, they're also running their biggest Black Friday sale ever with discounts of up to 50% off the entire site. They don't use unlock tools or mods, so you know it's 100% legitimate, and they have over 10,000 verified reviews on Trustpilot. On top of the Black Friday sale, you can also use code TRIDZO and save yourself an additional 5%. The link will be down in the description. The next set of rewards that we have are going to be the free gift packs and the XP tokens that you get. So, at the moment, every two to three days, the Call of Duty store will update. They will add a free gift pack we saw this with mw2 we saw this with mw3 warzone players you also get these they're usually here for only a limited time according to the leakers who actually leak what the gift packs are they're going to consist of regular things like calling cards emblems but the majority of them will have one hour xp tokens so if you need some xp occasionally check the store they will have random free gift packs that you're able to unlock now these are the ones that you got to redeem in the store there are a couple of gift packs that you get simply for logging in for example the endowment 15 year anniversary this started way back in november 11th I believe and now it goes on until December 31st simply loading up the game will give you the veteran impact animated emblem the count off sticker and the strong salutes animated calling card if you've played call of duty you should have already gotten these rewards added there's also going to be other gift packs that are going to be added in season one reloaded which they're not available right now but with the Cadmus event simply logging in so like daily login rewards you're going to be able to get different items and cosmetics and that's going to be returning towards the end of December so that's what to expect in terms of the gift packs and what we have with them now the other set of rewards that we have are the brand new events we currently have the hit list event right now there are a couple personal rewards that you can unlock which consist of calling cards emblems the rewards really aren't that great there's no animated camo there's no weapon blueprint there's a couple of reasons for that i believe is because they don't want to introduce these this early on but you're able to get something like the power drill as the mastery reward and then there's the community based ones where you can get attachments different weapons and perks stuff like that and and these are not necessarily cosmetic rewards, but they are free rewards nonetheless. And for those of you guys who are wondering what will happen if this community event doesn't get finished, it looks like at the rate we're going right now, we may not end up getting all the rewards because we need like 50 billion kills and it's, it's a pretty ridiculous amount. But what's going to happen is they're probably going to throw the weapons into the armory unlock. So say, for example, we don't reach the siren nine millimeter goal. What they're going to do is they're going to put in the armory unlock. Usually this will happen after the event is over, probably in season one 
one reloaded will get that and then you're gonna have to activate it gain 120,000 XP and then you'll be able to unlock the weapon that's for everyone who may miss the event not participate in it or if the community doesn't reach the goal I'm pretty sure Call of Duty will like artificially inflate it if they're seeing it's close and we're not quite getting there they're probably just gonna throw that number up there and then just give it to us that's how I imagine they're gonna do things but that's what you need to know in terms of the current event that we have now there's some other events that are gonna be going live we have an exclusive zombies one as well as a Cadmus event I'm gonna make a separate video detailing these events and what we know about them so far but once again they're always here for a limited time usually one to two weeks there's gonna be some sort of challenges involved that you'll have to complete the zombies one will be exclusive for zombie owners so you need to own multiplayer you can't be a warzone player and participate in them and they're probably gonna give you zombie related rewards like gobble gums maybe like a wonder weapon blueprint stuff like that maybe an operator skin for lucky and then they're also gonna be doing the Cadmus event which is available for everyone this will also feature its own challenges and by completing those you'll be able to get rewards and usually these types of events will be cosmetic rewards so don't expect that there's only gonna be weapons we know that we have a couple DLC weapons that will be some rewards but there's gonna be some weapon blueprints some camos and other rewards like that and I'm expecting an operator skin at least for Cadmus so that's what to expect with the events and the one that we currently have right now now there's actually free cod points that are currently available for you to unlock as well so with the battle pass this year we have a lot of free rewards that you get one in every single page they will consist of things like random stickers decals a couple of different weapon blueprints there's also 300 cod points that you can gain total you don't need to purchase the battle pass at all to get these free set of rewards as long as you consistently and casually play the game these are rewards that you're going to be able to unlock you can use the 300 cod points to save them up with other battle passes that offer these rewards and then you'll be able to get yourself either a battle pass an operator bundle something along those lines but every single page has them if you have the battle pass itself which technically isn't free rewards because you're paying for it then that will also have even more cod points available but these are actual rewards that you can unlock even if you've just never owned a battle pass before now the next set of rewards that we have are the free viewership rewards so there's a couple of viewership rewards that you can get as of right now these will go up until december 12th so you do have a limited time just a couple of weeks until they go away all you have to do is connect your twitch to your activision account go to anyone streaming call of duty black ops 6 or warzone and then you got to watch them for four hours and after you complete that you'll get rewards like a new weapon blueprint a brand new calling card a charm as well as an emblem now this was added with the day that the season one update went live they don't do a really good job announcing these types of things so you may just not have known about it or paid attention to it but these are rewards that you can get at the moment for viewership rewards now the next set of rewards that we have these are the promotional ones so with these promotions they're currently still live almost every single one of them so we have the little caesars one where if you upload a receipt you can get yourself free rewards like the operator skin and things like that now if you don't eat at little caesars and you want to get these rewards for free you can always ask a friend or anyone you know that eats at little caesars and then see if they could get you a receipt and then just upload those to the website and claim your rewards there it's also the very same thing with monster energy anyone who drinks monster that you know of ask them to send you the receipts upload those and then you can get yourself the monster operator skins the weapon blueprints the xp tokens and the rewards that come alongside that there's also other ones like for example the hella chill operator skin this one's a little more exclusive you have to have an ee phone number so like an ee sim card and i believe that's only available in the uk and then you text black ops 6 all caps to the number 150 and then they send you a code and then you redeem it on the call of duty website i'm not sure if that promotion is still running because of how exclusive it is some people were reporting that when they texted this number they were telling them that the codes have ran out if you have ee give this a try because this is a very rare operator skin and let us know in the comments if it still works and if you're still able to get it there's also a couple of other promotions for example papa john's uk if you end up making a purchase you get three in-game rewards which these are what the rewards look like a weapon charm an emblem things like that that they give out not the craziest or best rewards but these are some promotional rewards you're able to get as well and then there's like the tokyo game show rewards i saw people randomly posting these on twitter and giving them out i'm not entirely sure if uh there's like a way that you can get these maybe you could just see someone on twitter posting them 
and you'll be able to claim these. But other than these rewards, there's also even more that you're able to get. And these bring us on to the next topic. These are the Warzone related rewards. So there are new camos that you can unlock. Every single weapon in the game has a new set of Warzone Mastery Camo Challenges. This brings in the nine military camos that you're able to work through and unlock. And then after that, you have two unique camos, which are exclusively unlocked in Warzone that you're able to get. Once you unlock them, you can obviously put them on the other weapons, but they have to have the military stuff unlocked on those as well. And then you can work on the Mastery Camo Challenges. So these are the camo rewards that are available here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this time around there's like Easter eggs or anything like that that they used to do whenever they would introduce a new Warzone map. So that's a little bit unfortunate. There is another set of rewards that you can get right now, and these are the Warzone Boot Camp Rewards. So these are exclusively meant for players with new accounts or who just haven't played Warzone in a very long time. These will randomly pop up, but they ended up doing an update to where the game pretty much broke and acted as if everyone was on a brand new account and it pretty much reset your player profile. So as a result, a lot of these ended up popping up for everyone and you're able to do these challenges. And it's as simple as just like logging in, eliminating a player and the challenges will appear for you. If they do, you just go to it. There's three different rewards you can unlock. Nothing crazy. There used to be the safeguard operator skin, but they have since removed that and replaced it with like a random weapon blueprint for the MCW and just other things like that. So not the best rewards, but they are free. The next set of rewards available for you to unlock are the zombies rewards and the Easter eggs. So we have two Easter eggs currently available right now that you can do. You can either do them regularly or in directed mode. I believe in directed mode, the rewards aren't the best, but if you do the regular Easter egg method, you can get yourself the operator skin, the ray gun uh, weapon blueprint and stuff like that. There were some exclusive rewards before directed mode came out that you would get animated calling cards and emblems, but those have since been removed. But at the moment, you can still get that operator skin for Maya if you end up completing the Terminus Easter egg and get that ray gun blueprint for Liberty Falls. And at the moment, these are the rewards available. But remember, we also have another Easter egg with a brand new map that's releasing on December 5th. And then we also have a Zombies exclusive event. So there's going to be a lot more rewards stacking on top of these existing ones. So if you haven't completed the first couple of Easter eggs yet, I highly recommend that you do them so you are well prepared for the next set of rewards. But the next ones that we have are going to be the campaign rewards. These are the obvious ones. They're not going anywhere. They're going to be here to stay. You can complete them literally at any time. I would recommend wait until maybe multiplayer is having a slow month or maybe they end up delaying the season and there's no content going on where you could just quickly jump in campaign and grind out these rewards. If you've already played the campaign, then you already got them, but there's free rewards like a skin for Marshall, a couple of different weapon blueprints, XP tokens, and much more, and just simply completing missions, upgrading the stash house, and all that will unlock you these types of rewards. But these are all the rewards that I know of so far that you can unlock. There's going to be even more with season one reloaded if i missed out on a set of rewards comment it down below and let us know but be sure to unlock all of these before a lot of them do go away and you are well prepared for the season one reloaded update but i'm gonna make another video about this when we talk about season one reloaded rewards so don't forget to subscribe if you did find the video informative or helpful but it's been your boy Trizzo, and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys again peace <laughs>